switch design has been booming in the past couple of years, with every peripheral manufacturer and their dog coming out with their own flavour of mechanical switch. Razer has been at the forefront of this movement with their own green and their orange switches. There's only so many ways to make a mechanical switch unique though, and the cost is still prohibitive to many, especially for premium RGB boards. That's where hybrid membrane keyboards come into play. We've already checked out two on this channel, the Cougar 450K and the CM Devastator 2. You can check out the reviews down below. And now Razer has done theirs a little bit differently, creating a low profile clicky switch, which is available on their Ornata keyboard. We'll take a look at how it's done after this message from our sponsor. The new NZXT Air RGB fans can be daisy chained together for awesome lighting cohesion in your build with vibrant and accurate color illumination, all easily controlled through the Hue Plus via CAM software. Full details in the description below. So what are we looking at with the Ornata? Well, it's a full-size board which retails for $99 and it comes with chroma RGB lighting, or for $79 with the regular backlighting. That's a price tag which brings it into the realm of true mechanical keyboards. The design on the Anata is simple, a hard plastic frame gives a solid if not particularly exceptional build and the top is occupied almost entirely with the keys, there's no separate media controls here. The condensed footprint certainly has some benefits but certain people will miss the chance to play with the extra macro buttons that some extra large keyboards feature. The bottom has two rubber feet as well as a cutout for routing the thin but very manageable braided cable. Back on the top we have a very nice addition, a wrist rest. But it's not just a cheap plastic wrist rest like some other companies include, Razer has stepped it up with a plush faux leather finish. It's also magnetic so removing it is easy. It's more comfortable and just straight up better than the competition. Razer is really showing how it's done. From an ergonomic standpoint this wrist rest is almost perfect, although I would have liked it to slope down a little more at the end. But what of the keyboard? The keycaps are the first contact you'll have when typing, and they're a little different than most. Razer has went for a mid-height keycap, creating this strange in-between, not as low as chiclet, but higher than regular keycap size. This has the advantage of sleeker looks and a unique feel which will be familiar to those coming from chiclet keyboards. The font choice is nice, and the keycaps feel quite good. But what's really interesting is the switch sitting underneath. In essence, it's a membrane switch, even though Razer calls it a mecha membrane. The key principle is still the keycap hitting the rubber membrane surface to actuate, but it has a couple of tricks to imitate a mechanical switch. The first is the travel distance. It's not as satisfying as a mechanical switch, but it's further than the membrane ones, reaching a satisfying middle ground. Razer has also implemented a mechanism to fake the actuation of a physical switch, and it audibly clicks when getting closer to bottoming out. And the faking works. The key presses on the Onata feel different when compared to most other mech switches, but it feels good. It's quick to type on thanks to that shorter travel distance and the fast actuation, and the clicky response is satisfying, if a bit loud. Give it a listen now. In game, these are a very solid switch thanks to their fast actuation. The short travel distance and the light switch allow for quick responses, and even though keyboards make very little difference to in-game performance, you'll still find this quite nice for gaming. So, are these worse than mechanical switches? It's really up to your preference. I'd think of these less of a poor man's mechanical and more another switch variant for your preference. It's not for everyone, but they're very good in their own right. As is usual when it comes to talking about any peripheral, I would really suggest you try these switches before spending any money on a keyboard like the Anata. Peripheral buying is an intensely personal choice, and you should always have a frame of reference before spending almost $100 on a keyboard, mouse, or even a headset. The Ornata is also accompanied by Razer's Synapse software suite, which is always very good. Unsurprisingly, you've got profile and macro support, as well as the option to set up custom keybinds, as well as a dedicated game mode disabling the Windows key, as well as Alt F4 and Alt Tab optionally. The cool part of Razer's software is the stats section. When Synapse opens, it will record your keystrokes in game and give some cool stats, as well as a heat map of the keyboard so you can see which keys you've pressed most. It's not a whole lot of practical application, but it's a nice feature to have. 
The last point of contention is the chroma lighting. For another $20 it is a decent price premium, but you do get some nice RGB lighting for it. The white backplate on the Anata creates this vibrant glow which looks great, and it's one of my favourite lit keyboards I've seen. Razer's software is powerful as ever, allowing for some solid customizations and effects. They also have Chroma apps, allowing for third party game integration so that you can have specific in-game reactions of the lighting. In the end, it's up to you if the RGB lighting is worth $20. So, conclusions. The Razer Ornata is something different, and that's a good thing. The low profile keycaps and the interesting switches, combined with great lighting and a solid design, create a compelling keyboard, and the best in its class wrist rest is a nice touch. It's still not cheap at $99 for the Chroma variant, but if the switches are your thing, it's a solid offering. So thank you for watching everyone, if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like, and comment down below on your thoughts on mecha membrane switches and other hybrid mechanical keyboards on the market. I'm Aiden with Hardware Canucks, make sure to subscribe for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.